Hey, government contractors, welcome to the GCC High. You're probably familiar with some of the feature differences between the commercial 365 cloud and those now available to you in the GCC High. One question that comes up early and often among our clients is, hey, where the heck do I verify ownership of my domain in the GCC High? There doesn't seem to be a domain option in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Hi, this is Brian Riley, one of the Microsoft 365 engineers here at Liftoff. We're a group of Microsoft nerds that help organizations get started with Microsoft 365. We specialize in migrations to the Microsoft Cloud, and we also have a group of super responsive licensing specialists that can quickly provide quotes in all of the Microsoft Clouds, including the GCC High. So, where can you verify your domain in the GCC High? And what about all of the other DNS changes to fully activate your domain? Just keep watching to find out. The first thing you'll want to do is to log into your new GCC High tenant with your global admin credentials. Notice that the URL is different from the commercial cloud, portal.office365.us. Once logged in, notice in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, under Settings, there's no domains area. So you can't really work with domains, you can't verify your domains, here in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center in the GCC High. Instead, you're going to want to navigate to the Entra Admin Center, formerly known as Azure Active Directory. To do that, I'll come down here under Admin Centers and select Identity. Here, under Search Resources and Services, I'll type in the word Domain and then choose Domain Names. The domain I plan on using in my GCC High Tenant is getoffice365.com. If I click that, I'm given a TXT or an MX value that I can use to prove ownership of my domain. I'll choose the TXT option and copy this value here. Notice that the host name is going to be at or blank depending on my DNS hoster's requirements. For me, I use GoDaddy to host the DNS records for getoffice365.com. So I'll log into GoDaddy and choose add a new record. And then TXT, the host name is going to be the at sign and I'll paste my value in. Once I do that, I will go back to my verification screen and click verify. Successfully verified my domain name here in the GCC High. If you're having trouble with this step, in all likelihood, your domain is locked down in another Office 365 tenant. If you're doing a tenant to tenant migration, this is obviously normal, and the step that we're doing here would be done during your cutover activities. If you're having trouble verifying your domain, but you're not currently in a Microsoft email system, the problem is probably because someone on staff has either done an Office 365 trial in the past using your real domain, or perhaps someone on staff has done something like started a Power BI trial. Look out for future videos from Liftoff on how you can take ownership of your domain that's locked in another tenant. Now that my domain is verified in the GCC High Tenant, what about the other DNS changes that I need to implement to fully activate my domain? If you do a quick Google search for DNS records in Office 365, you'll come across a very nice web page from Microsoft that describes the changes that you'll need to undertake for activating your domain in the GCC High. Of note here is your new MX record. So notice it says tenant.mail.protection.office365.us. The word tenant will be replaced with whatever on Microsoft.us tenant domain name that you have. If I copy that and go back to GoDaddy, let's go ahead and paste this in as a new MX record. Now, where do I get my tenant domain? Well, if we go back here to the Entra Admin Center, and if we go back to custom domain names, remember 
this dot on Microsoft dot US tenant domain that we looked at earlier. For us, it's liftoff gov dot on Microsoft dot US. So I simply want to go back to GoDaddy and change the word tenant to be liftoff gov. I'll save that. Now going back to my Microsoft page here, don't forget that we're going to need to add a TXT record for sender policy framework. We have an auto discover record. Keep scrolling down because there are more records to add for, it says Skype for business, but it's really teams. So don't forget your two C names for teams. And then finally, there are two SRV records for teams as well. So unlike the commercial cloud, there is no DNS checker here. So just be very careful when you're entering your DNS records here and double check them, triple check them, make sure that they're correct because there is no way for Microsoft to verify these. The only way you'll know that they're wrong is if one of your services is not working correctly. The only other DNS records that you should consider adding are for DKIM and DMARC. Look out for future videos from Liftoff on DKIM and DMARC. There are many differences between Commercial 365 and the GCC High. Domain verification and other DNS settings can definitely be confusing. I hope today's video helped clarify that a little bit. Feel free to reach out to us at liftoffonline.com with questions on anything having to do with Microsoft 365.